Well, good morning to you. It's the day before Christmas Eve. Might be Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. Get behind. I get so excited about the Word of God. I started talking to you the other day about seeking first the kingdom. And seek means to go to, or seek means to inquire of, or I'm even going to use the term today, make a demand on the kingdom. And if you learn how to make a demand on the kingdom, then you don't have to make a demand on everything else. Now, this is going to be a little bit bold, and I'm going to go back to this next week after the holiday season, but I want you to get this. Jesus came out of the kingdom to live on the earth, and he lived out of the kingdom. Oh, you don't find Jesus asking anybody for anything. He lived out of the kingdom, and watch this. He came to show you how you can live out of the kingdom. Oh, man, that is so good. You see, he said, when you go to preach, preach to them that the kingdom of God is at hand. Or, in other words, it's as close as your hand is to you. I mean, the kingdom, healing is just that close. It's here. We can go to the kingdom and receive from God. And I like this. I got to say it. I'm ahead of myself, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you go to the kingdom first then you, for your healing, then you don't have to go to the doctor. Seek ye first the kingdom. That's not a religious attitude. That's not a spiritual thing. You know, don't, don't want nothing. Just seek the kingdom. No, 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 no. That's not at all what Jesus was saying. What he was saying is if you seek the kingdom first, then you don't have to go get an extra job uh, to help pay your bills. If you seek the kingdom, go to the kingdom. Go learn how to receive from the kingdom. Now, remember when Jesus was trying to feed the multitude and the disciples said, Lord, what is this? Uh, you know, amongst so many, they just had a few fishes and loaves. See, they were looking at what they had, which wasn't nearly enough. And Jesus was looking at what he had, which was more than enough. See, when the disciples had fished all night long, they said, Lord, we've taken nothing. They were looking at what they had. Well, Jesus said, cast your nets out on the other side for a draw, because he was going to get the blessings from the kingdom. He didn't have to write an appeal letter. He didn't have to, you know, call all of his supporters on the telephone. What he did, he said, after they said, we've toiled all night, but then nevertheless, Jesus spoke the word, and I don't know if those fishes was created when he said it, or if they were on the other side of the lake when he said it, but I want you to know when Jesus said, cast out your nets for a draw, multitudes of fishes showed up, quote, out of the kingdom. He didn't take up an offering. My, that's good preaching. He See, a lot of people say, well, I'm in a position where I can't take up an offering. Well, I got good news. You don't have to. You can go to the kingdom. My time's gone. I got to get out of here. Go to the kingdom first and you'll always receive. Hey, have a wonderful Christmas. We'll get back on this next week. I love you. I'm having a great time. The kingdom way is the best way. Go to it first. Remember, Jesus is Lord. And as always, thank God the word works.